well, this is an answer to the problem, I guess. God's too small. And this gets God off the hook, kinda. But who would want to worship a God that's too small to deal with the most pressing issues? Uh, who would want to follow such a God? Who would want to entrust themselves to such a, such a God? I, I think this is uh, an idea that's not worthy of God. I, I, I think it's, uh, I guess, lazy thinking maybe, or uh, the lazy man's way out. I think there are better answers than that. I think that God is fully capable of dealing with all of these things, but because he's an all-wise God, he chooses not to. Sometimes for reasons only he understands, sometimes we get a little insight into that, and we can look back on our own lives and we realize sometimes the toughest, most painful times were the times when we became much more of what we ought to have been from the beginning, and that the only way to get there was to go through that, and who else would know that but God himself? So that's a kind of an answer to, th to this problem, and I know it doesn't satisfy everybody for every instance of evil, but I just want to suggest that we have a limited perspective here, and, um, and God doesn't. And I would rather say, gee, maybe God knows better than I do on these things and go that route than to say, gee, maybe God's not that big after all and he's a victim just like the rest of us.